guys. I was literally gone for a few weeks and the whole country loses the freaking minds. What's up, drivers? Welcome to Six Minute Saturdays. I'm your host, Dash Camhole. Queuing for petrol. Queuing for petrol. But I'm on a horse. To start us out today, let me just go ahead and make myself homeless by calling out my own parents. It's not donkey award worthy, but it's bad enough that words need to be had. Mm. Oh, yeah. I'm guessing she was. As a new parent, as I was 10 years ago, just trying to figure out what you do with this thing in your life. And doing that without nope. any that I didn't think she would. Because I was behind her. Yeah, absolutely. And, and the one who was giving um, contact with me. Oh, because she was going right there as well. Well, don't, don't let him in. Because he's cheeky. Sort of he's very good. Get right to it. They're not letting him in. Oh, I'm going to click that. Look, he's always just pushing in. He's trying to push him right at the front now. Go on, don't let him in. But they're all Another one! Yeah, they're all coming along the inside now, you see. Unfortunately, the mentality of getting in as early as possible and then refusing to let others in is the reason that Hull, and well, most of the UK, has such bad congestion problems. If everyone used the entirety of both lanes, then traffic would flow so much better and the tailback would be half the length. It's explained in sentence 2 of rule 134 of the highway code. It's amazing that I'm having to teach my parents this, isn't it? Well. Best get my ass on Zoopla. <laughs> and now because I've done it again, I've forgotten the award, so I'm gonna superimpose it in here. Today we've got a double donkey award. You f***ing donkey! <laughs> First I'm gonna show you this clip from my front cam, and I want everyone to get ready in the comments and write down everything that I do wrong in this clip. Ready, go! If you've already typed a random hate comment, good for you, and thank you very much for the engagement because it helps support me and the channel massively. And if the rest of you are kind of confused, good, you should be. Why? What's the problem here? Let's have a look at my rear cam, shall we? What the fuck are you getting wary about, idiot? Flapping at me because I wasn't going right up that cyclist ass. <laughs> there wasn't enough room. I know. You need to go. This shrivel cocked waste of testicle excretion, Jeremy Clarkson, man child wannabe, is in such a rush to get absolutely nowhere, he literally wants me to hit a cyclist. What the fucking hell are you, you great gangly fuck knuckle twat, greasy head bag? Fuck you! I'm afraid that you just simply look like a raging zoo animal, and someday you're gonna flap like that at the wrong person who has worse anger issues than you and be very sorry about the outcome. Go see a therapist or something. Now for the second donkey, and these are together because it's pretty much an identical situation, and this one is from one of my viewers, Tox Laximus. You might also recognise Sarah Connor here from a previous video. All joking aside, she does still have that Terminator 2 crackhead energy about her. Now some of you are probably thinking, well th there's not enough evidence here, we don't know what happened prior, surely Tox Laximus did something to set her off originally, but notice the speed of which she approaches. 
I've got no trouble believing that this is their first interaction. And I say that because people really do just be that crazy sometimes. Just like the chap I had going apeshit behind me. Anyway, it is time for The Road Rules. Yes, it does. Nice to see you. Yes, it is. <laughs> this is where we'll take a look at some of the best and worst of the miscellaneous driving clips that I have stumbled upon during my internet browsing. Hello! I, I was doing a whole foot. I love, I love the way she just slaps that fuel cap right into last month's fuel crisis. <laughs> At least you could argue she's teaching her kids good discipline, even if her understanding of the rules are a little bit foggy. This could be one of the funniest pranks I've ever seen. That being said, don't do it. going the wrong way but it doesn't matter does it just imagine the carnage that rewiring someone's brakes to their horn would cause as someone gets out to wallop the impatient ass white behind them who's just holding their horn at them at every junction <laughs> this kid's acting is on freaking point bravo sir bravo you're a true entertainer <laughs> i want to fucking hit you with my truck <laughs> It is an 18 wheeler, so you're fucked. I am pulling fully loaded, ain't got no time for your bullshit. I would like to fucking hit you with my truck. Can you believe the audacity of that middle finger? Speaking of cyclists, my dad was looking at buying a bike and he spotted this on the listing. The world just really isn't a place made for cyclists, is it? And finally, to see us off today, here are some more of Cloudmaker's interactions. Cheers for bringing a smile to all our faces once again, Cloudmaker. Which one do you like best then? Do you like the uh, red one in the corner? What about the yellow one? The yellow one is it? But anyway, that's all we have time for today. If you like this video, give it a like, give me a sub, check out my affiliate links in the description and we'll have another chinwag really soon. Peace.